hello again i am back with another thread up unboxing video i have my box here so my name is jennifer i am a part-time reseller transitioning into the full-time category pretty shortly and i have been very curious about all of the thread up rescue boxes i've purchased the diy denim boxes in the past multiple times um, and just recently i've purchased the kids shoe box the men's box the fun box and the women's shoe box so i've already got the kids box i received that i did a video on it now i think this is the men's box because it's it's kind of large if it's the fun box and the women's shoe box just shipped yesterday so uh, we'll go ahead and open this up now i last time i did not use scissors i just peeled the tape and that was kind of loud so sorry about that um but we'll see what's in here as always they do have very cute nice packaging um, i'm trying all of these boxes to really see what i like the most to try some different styles out i sell a little bit of everything from men's women's kind of just starting children's um, and hard goods, vintage, collectibles. So I, anything that will make me money and make me a profit, I am more than happy to sell or give it a try. I like learning about new things all the time as well. Okay, yes, this definitely looks like the men's box. And I forget, I put the, the detail information in here because I forget exactly if it's 10 pieces or 10 pounds, I think. It could be 10 pounds, um, I'm not sure, but we'll see at the end what I receive, so hopefully you guys get a little peek in here, okay? First thing on top, feels very nice, it feels like a genuine leather, very nice leather, but we will see, let me just show you guys that real quick, it is a blazer, yeah, it looks a little bit more like a blazer, a dress blazer fabric it says made in china so on a lot of dress blazers particularly more for men's um in the pockets sometimes that's where it has like your information as far as the sizing the brand name um, i don't see anything on this one but it does feel very nice the inside is a paisley print so you can probably tell that oh here it is santa fe copley Copley. There's that, if we can see that okay. Clapton, uh, 48 tall. So this is the information. I don't know anything about this brand. Um, I, I know that this feels really nice, so this feels like a very thin, high-end quality. So I'll have to look this up and see. But it's a great time to get blazers, dress blazers, jackets, anything like that, because we are getting ready to, well, we're already kind of starting the fall fashion, but fall's a couple months away. Next, we have a new with tag, kind of, maybe? So if you see that there, this is paper, denim, and cloth rag stock. I don't know what that is. Maybe this is something that they tried to list and didn't sell. Because these, these rescue boxes are either items that they did not accept for whatever reason, may have had some slight flaw, maybe didn't have the size on it, something, um, or they're items that have been listed on their website for a long time, and now they're moving them out. I don't know what they consider a long time, but this is just a t-shirt. It's a really cool casual pocket t-shirt. Feels nice, paper, denim, and cloth. I feel like I've heard of that brand before or just looks familiar. 100% cotton, so we'll see, but that's nice. I just don't know if this is the actual like price tag that it comes with or if somebody else did that. Next, we have, um, I don't know if I could sell, <laughs> sell this, Farmington Tigers Wrestling. This might be like a high school or like a college shirt, so I don't really think that I can sell this for anything. I have to look that up. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, if it is college, maybe it would sell. High school, I don't think so, but we'll see. These are a pair of shorts. I have to hurry up and get these listed very quickly because summer is soon to finish. <laughs> these are button down shorts, H&M, Slim Fit. So there's the information there. And they are button. I know this is very trendy for women. 
I don't know if it's trendy for men. Um, I have to look that up because I'm very curious. If you know if the button up jeans and shorts is just a woman's trend or if it's women and men's, I'm curious what you think. Next we have a Nike Golf. I'm very familiar with Nike and golf clothing. It does pretty well. It's inconsistent. It kind of fluctuates. The market fluctuates a little bit. But the Nike, Adidas, Callaway, those brands, even Under Armour, the North Face, they do very well in the golf brand. This is a size extra, extra large. So that's great. I think this shirt will be very good. It'll bring me... 15 to 20 dollars pretty quickly pretty easily i think we have a pair of jeans so i didn't get a denim box but i still got a pair of denim that's cool these are gap 30 by 30 slim i don't know how gap does for men but i do know that men's jeans sell a lot faster for me than women's jeans these were just rolled so i'm unrolling them they appear to be in pretty good condition. Oh, no, nope, spoke a little soon. So it looks like there was a repair. That's probably why I thread it. Maybe didn't take these. So this, I can cut that little thread um, and this one here, but it looks like it was repaired, the stitching. So the seam, maybe there was a tear or something. Um, I have to look at that a little bit more closely and see if these are still something worth selling. As long as there's no other flaw, that's the back little label here. As long as there's no other flaw, um, I would still try to sell them, list them. Worst case scenario, put them for auction on eBay. Let's see how that goes. Then we have another new tag. Well, this is a nice tag, J. Crew. So these are J. Crew white pants. For men, I did not, I don't know. I don't know what these would do. Um, I don't see many men wearing white pants, but maybe that's just because I don't hang around with a lot of preppy men. I'm not sure. But these are white pants. I'll double check to make sure that they tr are truly men's. They, department, it doesn't really tell me. Color is white, style, size. Um, so I'll look into these. I mean, I'm assuming they're men's. It's style 770. It says waist 32, length 34. Normally men's jeans are listed in the waist and the length. But these are brand new with tags. So that is, that's cool. I'm excited about that. The tag does not say like the price, what the retail price was. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how much these would sell for. I, I don't know a lot of things. I catch myself in videos that all I'm telling you guys is I don't know. So <laughs> I don't know why I make these videos if I can't even be helpful. Okay, next item is another J. Crew. Wow, this is very conveniently packed. This is a J. Crew new with tag size. Can't really see that right now. It's a little tricky, but. This looks like a chambray striped button down. Size so large, also says it. It's right here. Uh, this is nice. I'm excited about this for men's new attack J. Crew. I know I don't do very well pre-owned, like the items kind of just sit for a while, but brand new with tag, that's something that I'm pretty hopeful to try. So excited about that. Uh-oh. This one, I don't know, I might be keeping this one. <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay, this is cool. This is a Marvel's, um, it looks like the X-Men, yeah. So it's a Marvel's X-Men shirt. I love that, I love Marvel, superhero, DC, uh, comics. So this is a size small in a men's. I may be able to fit into that. <laughs> we'll see, um, if I sell this, it probably will only sell for maybe 10 to $15, but it looks to be in excellent condition. So I might be wearing that. Oh, oh this is cute. This is a cute men's shirt. <laughs> so this could be definitely a unisex style shirt. It could be for men or for women. Look at the feet. That's adorable. I mean, this is, any man who wears this, oh, that's just adorable. But yeah, there's no size on it, which is probably why ThreadUp couldn't sell it. Uh, no size tag, so I'll have to measure it. Looking off of it here, um, I think it's probably an extra, extra large, potentially even a 3X, so it's a very larger size. I like this. I will definitely try to sell this. I will measure it. 
um, there's no other information on it. It feels like cotton. Um, so we'll see, but that's very cute. I think just for the style and stuff alone, I could get $15 for it. Last but not least, I feel like these boxes end so fast. A pair of shoes. These are a pair of what appear to be no brand sneakers. They look like the, oh, ooh, that is, okay, so this is a brand that I do not find. I found maybe once or twice, and I do have a shirt in men's that I just haven't listed, but O by Everlane, you see that? So Everlane, I know, is a very good brand to resell for women. Um, men's, the t-shirts do very well. It's a little bit more of a basic, but an expensive high-end basic style. These are nice. They're very, the color is more unique, so it is a little bit of a unique color. Um, it's like a mustard olive yellow. I mean, it, it's showing up pretty accurate on camera, so however you would describe this, any tips would be appreciated. These are very nice. They're in excellent condition, definitely brand new, never worn. You can even tell the way that the laces are and stuff, so I'm excited to look these up. This right here makes me super excited for the whole box, so I don't know why ThreadUp included these. I'll look them over a lot more to make sure that there's no flaws, but they look in excellent condition. So I'll look these up and hopefully include some information right here um, on the comps or the retail pricing or how current or trendy these might be. So we have one pair of shoes. We have this cat shirt that I think will be great. I mean, this is just so cool. Somebody has to have that and just wear that every day. Then we have this Marvel shirt, which I need to be keeping for myself. I'm not sure yet. We have two newest tag J. Crew items. So that's five pieces so far. These are really good too. I'm excited about those as far as like for reselling. We have the Nike golf shirt. So that's definitely going to sell. The Gap jeans I was excited about, but I just don't know about that flaw repaired flaw so I mean I'll definitely note that I'm gonna try to sell these because other than that they seem like they're in pretty good shape so then we got these shorts which I'll list these right away don't know I don't know if they'll sell for a lot um, I'm gonna try I mean if I can get 10 bucks for them that'd be cool this is the only item that I'm not gonna even I'm gonna look it up I mean I am gonna look it up but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna list just based on like the back and stuff there. So um, that, yeah, I think that's the only one. This one too, I'm excited about, even though I don't know if this is new with tag or not, but I do like this shirt, just a classic pocket basic and it's a good color. And then this blazer. So this is a very good box. I'm very happy with this box. This blazer, I'm excited to look up. It's just like so silky soft. I mean, maybe it's not real leather and that's why it feels super good. Um, it's not real leather. It's polyester, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I know it's kind of bright. You guys probably can't see that. Yeah, sorry. Um, it just says, it says dry clean only, 100% polyester, microfibers. So I'll look this one up, but this feels like leather. So it's definitely a faux leather. It just feels so soft. It's like a buttery, smooth, broken in material. So I guess it makes sense. It's not real leather or else it'd be a little bit more stiff. But I'm excited to look that up. So thanks for watching. That's all I have for you guys right now. Um, I should receive my fun box tomorrow, which today's Tuesday. So I should receive that tomorrow or Thursday at the latest. I'm excited for that one because it should be fun. Haha. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Or if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.